uh, say hello. We're, I guess we're, we're happy to be able to actually make this video today. I just want to go over some events, some spiritual events um, and the forthcoming um, <clears throat> events. And so um, I want to start off by, um, let's see here, saying we, we are here and we at the, the shelter that we are still affiliated with, let's see here, um, probably about, we've been here in, in, in this hotel for a family of five for about a month now. But um, probably about a month ago, Yah led me to um, address some issues with the actual um, shelter and how it was, was treating families there. And so what happened is I filed a grievance and laid it out in terms of them not following through on their p policies and uh, I gave it to them like on a Friday and they, um, it was, wasn't until the following Monday that they actually, um, they approached us to say that we would like to talk to you all. So the, it was the, um, the director and the assistant director who wanted to have a meeting with us. And so um, I guess, I don't know if Trellis, I guess he had spoken to Trellis and I, I don't know where I was, I, I, but when I came back, she said that he wanted to talk to us. And so. Probably around about an hour later, um, we waited before we went and actually meet with them. And one of the things that Charlie says, she said, I wonder if they're going to ask us to leave. I'm thinking, leave? Oh, boy. And so we, um, in the meeting, they just said that um, what they would like to do was that they wanted to transition us to their hotel program. And so they were going to take us out of the, the actual shelter itself. And what was happening and at, at the time, we were in a 12 by 10 room, a family of five. And so we, we, we adjusted to where, where we were and realizing why we were there for the kingdom. And then um, we did what we had to do. And then for Yah opened the door for us and he moved us here. And now from here, the, this is what's getting ready to happen now. Um, and it begins with, he, let's see here, on November, no, excuse me, January the 5th, he said, your time in America has ended. He said, your poverty was Israel's poverty. Your forthcoming wealth is my new Israel's wealth. You have had to bear poverty for my fallen nation of Israel. Then he said, Trellis, you have had to bear poverty for my fallen nation of Israel. You as a family have had to bear poverty for my fallen nation of Israel. Oh. Let me just stop right there because there's something else that I want to share with you also. Um, the journey in terms of being in Europe and in um, Scott, um, United Kingdom was tough. But we, we accomplished what we had to do. And for when we were, I think the video that we made, it was, it's entitled, Yah's Will, France is Part of Yah's Kingdom. And so what he did is when he had us leave Germany, <clears throat> um, he, he led us to France and he, he told us to apply for asylum. And so... We applied for asylum in France. And because we did that, the, the country of France, the process was that they would, we had to go through a battery of um, documentation, fingerprints, understanding the policies and the procedures, is that France actually provided housing for us because we were under the asylum, um, we were under asylum, and so they provided um, housing for us, so they gave us a three-bedroom apartment, and it was kind of halfway furnished. It had beds, had a kitchen, um, kitchen stove, dishwasher. I mean, or, or um, washing machine, 
two small refrigerators. And so we had the amenities to function. So it was a three bedroom um, apartment. And they also gave us a step in of, let's see, uh, um, 500 euros. And what that 500 euros uh, um, worked out to us, 547 American dollars. And that was part of his plan. So, and, and, and once again, everything that we have have done and, and will do is for the kingdom, for us as a nation. And it's always in the in the spiritual realm. I always kind of forget that even this last time when he said, now you are going against the powers of, a, of America, I automatically thought the president, but it's the powers. Those are the powers of the invisible world that we um, battle. And so fast forward back to that. So of that time, and then in France, we were there for almost um, three months. Then he just said leave. And, but he already, he already gave us the part where we were going to Scotland next. And so he just said, it's time to go, now go. And so before we left France, we, we packed up. The day we, um, Trellis and our oldest daughter, they, they, they um, got their itinerary for the transportation to go from um, the place that we were in, in France. And we were about 200 miles south of France to that of Scotland. The first place we were at in Scotland was Motherwell. And the last place that we were before we um, returned to America was um, Edinburgh. But in that, he just said go. And so we accomplished what he wanted us to do spiritually in France, and we moved on. And then, so going back to what he said here again, he said, now, I'll, I'll read it again. Your time in America has ended. Your poverty was Israel's poverty. Your forthcoming wealth is my new Israel's wealth. You have had to bear poverty for my fallen nation of Israel. Trellis, you have had to bear poverty for my fallen nation of Israel. You as a family have had to bear poverty for my fallen nation of Israel. Then he said, my son, you have resurrected the dry bones. Once again, this is all the battling and preparation for the exodus. And then that was, that part I just read to you was on the 5th of this month. And then on the 11th of this month, this past Thursday, one of the things he said, he says, the realm encompassing their power, their power center, Washington, D.C., has relented to you. Then he said, you are my giant killer. He said, now you may leave America. So that of us coming back here to America, we finalized spiritually that of what he wanted us to do for us as a people, for his nation, for us as a people and for his forthcoming nation. And one of the things he said over the last couple of weeks was he said, reach out to family members and prepare them for the exodus. And so the majority of our family members on both sides, they, 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 don't, they haven't embraced, they don't understand, but we did it. In other words, actually Trellis reached out to her family members because I know my family members are stiff necked people. So I was one of those where they'll, they'll, they'll just have to be shocked with everybody else. And so that is where we are with them. But what does this mean for you? It means for you that we're, we're, he's, we've done what we were supposed to have done in America. And now he's moving us, he's, he's moving us far away from America. And so what, what does that mean for you? That means that um, the exodus is a lot closer than it was the last year at, at this time because we left for Europe February the 25th of last year. So it's almost 10 months or going on 11 months of that. And so um, he hasn't given us and he, I don't, he hasn't given us a date. He probably never will give us a date, but, but Israel, prepare yourselves. I know there's a, you've listened to others and they have, they have laid out the plans of what's going to happen, but it's up to him the actual time. But I can tell you this, because of what he, that of what we have done in terms of the the realm has of the powers that that opens up the door for that of reparations and i'm kind of going off the cuff here but that that of that of them 
once again, providing and giving to us, going back to Genesis 15 and then um, 14, that we will leave here with the riches of this country. And so that is where we are. And then he said, like I said, he said on December the 22nd, I must move you far from here, America now. My ways are very mysterious for you as a family. So in that, um, the, the 12 years of poverty, in other words, since we returned from Nairobi, Kenya, Africa back in 2005, and that was back um, November, we, we got here in December. So from 2006 to 2023, of, those, of these last 18 years, we lived below the poverty level for 14 years. And this is, the 14 is the number for deliverance. So, uh, and then of the last 12 years, and then what happened is that we went for a part from the 2012 to 2023, those 12 years, we lived um, simultaneously every year below the poverty level for us as a family of five. So in that, that has been the hardships that we have had to bear for his kingdom and for the nation of Israel. And so, um, like I said, now we, 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 he, he is going to move us again. We're with this particular homeless shelter program. They've been working on housing for us. And so at one time he, he told us, open walk through the doors that i open for you and so now <clears throat> at this point we have we are rested we are in a more comfortable situation and we are now waiting for him to move us forward and for you israel uh prepare yourselves once again there, there have been some real good videos over the last year and how he's laid out the exodus now we're just waiting for that time, but we are a lot closer today than we were, like I said, like we, than we were a year ago. Shalom.